guys welcome to another video in this one uh, I will show you how to make a fancy underline like you see here and you see here it is completely customizable uh, you can choose colors and you can also show, show um, whatever width or height you uh, want um, uh, first things first we're going to choose our colors so this is like yellowy orangey stuff uh, but like i said you can customize this whatever uh, you want uh, i'll show you a nice website that i use for it uh, you can see it here mycolor.space for now you will need the gradient yeah we also have a three color gradient if you want to make it even fancier i'm just going to stick with this one i'm going to take two colors by default you should be put in two for this um, and i'm going to stick with those two but like i said Choose whatever colors you want to, um, to make your uh, underline as fancy as you want to. Uh, we just have to click on generate, uh, and then we have this code here that makes this gradient that we can see as a background. Now, you can choose the direction. You can say I want it to go straight from left to right. Click on generate. You have the preview you can see, and then you can copy it here. But I'm going to stick with the first one. I like this one. Yeah. So. I'm going to copy this code, Control C, and we're going to go back. So I'm first going to put in uh, different types of blocks here, so we can uh, see that it works with a uh, different kind of uh, blocks. I'm not going to use them all, of course. I'm going to use the cadence, uh, some cadence blocks, and I'm going to use the default heading block and the default uh, paragraph block from WordPress. Um, if you use other plugins, um, then you have to check and test it out and see if it works but normally if you follow the same steps that i put in here this should work fine for you so first i'm going to i have already installed cadence blocks of course so i'm going to take the advanced text like you can see here and then i'm going to stick with the h2 just to show you and make this this let's say fancy underline block then we want to make for example, you can say I want the whole block to be underlined, I want only want one word, or I only want these two words. Completely up to you. You can change it however you want to. To make this work, we have to go to the three dots, to the options, click on it, and then edit as HTML. So then we see a lot of strange code. Don't worry about it. We just go to the, the text itself, and you have to choose, let's say I want fun, fancy, not underline to be underlined. So what I'm going to do is grab these around in a sp span. I give this give this a class name. So equals to. Make sure you use two brackets and you put it in between. And we'll call this underline. This is important that you remember the name for a little bit later. And it's really important that you close it off always because um, otherwise you could get an error. And fancy underline those two I want to be wrap, wrapping around. So then we're going to close our span off like this. Click on update. And then we can go to edit visually. So you see the same text again. Then Make a block, advanced text, and pick the paragraph. For example, this is another one. And same thing, I have to go to the three dots, edit as HTML, go to the text itself. Let's say we only want another one word this time. It's the same thing, we go to this, oh, I mean, typo, span. Then we add the class name equals to underline. Important to close it off. And then we wrap around another this time. So span and make it close here. Update the page. And we can, if you want to, it's more easy to see. Go to the visual. Then we do the default uh, WordPress heading. You will see this um, if we edit this. I'll make it a default heading. This is a default heading. If we go to the code, you will see this is way less. Uh, it is just an H2. So, so let's say we want these two words again. Span 
class equals to underline close it off and default heading wrapping it in and closing our spam bug is updates and maybe edit visually if you want to and then the default paragraph is already selected by default if I press enter so this is a default paragraph paragraph graph like this same thing three dots edit at html I would say I only want defaults be wrapped around spam class equals two same thing underline close it off and then close it off and update voila if you have an error it could be that you update it and immediately you get an error that this block is um, not working as intended and then you probably uh, did something wrong with the order of the like this uh, smaller than and bigger than signs make sure you always put them on the right spots and you have this slash forward in the in the closing off span and um, so uh, if you have an error just check your maybe you probably have a type normally you should never have an error so edit visually then you have this same uh, same text so this is of course if we click update and we open this page and refresh it that this is working completely uh, as it meant it so all different blocks these two top two are the cadence ones the bottom two are the default ones so we see this is working perfectly fine on the edit page we see this is not showing anything so that's normal if you go in the edit page even if you click update you will, will not see the underline working you have to go to the live preview to see it working yeah so let's go let me show you how you now make this uh, fancy underline we go to the customizer I, I already added to the code here uh, that's why it's working and um, go to additional CSS and this is the code I've put in so you see I've created my own class dot underline that's important that it's the same name as the one you used here in your spam uh, so if you didn't use underline make sure you use the, the right one here um, and then the first part here is the code we uh, copied from the page here so I'll show you, I'll change everything to the one I have here, Control c go to my customizer, and the first part of my code is this. I see immediately that it changes to the gradient that I have here. So that's okay. Background repeat, I'm going to put in uh, no repeat. If you don't, you see you get a really strange effect um, if you like it you can keep it of course but normally if you want the standard one to work you should put in background repeat no repeat as such then we have background size and background position these two are the most important ones to um, change the effect like you see here it's going from not so high to completely a height of 100% let's say and it's going from if you see it on the horizontal part it's going from like about 80% you can see here from 80% to a 100% like you can see here so what does this mean background size the first one you see here is the x uh, axis so this means the horizontal position the horizontal size of the background the second part is the i uh, so or the vertical um, size of the background so i've put in 80 percent just to show you um, and it means it will take up 80 percent of the space that we wrapped around if i put in 100 percent what normally i would do then you see it changes immediately and you have a fancy underline uh, completely around or around the word or beneath the word that we wrapped around with our spam class uh, if I change this for 10% and then you can have a more fancy effect because it changes way more uh, the effect is more, more obvious um, so you can play with this however you want so this is changing the width of the uh, background size let's say and this is changing the height so let me show you 
if I put in 0 0.6, you see it's way bigger to start with. If I change it to 1, this is the default one, and then it's 100%. I could also put in 100%, of course, it's just the same thing. You can stick with percentages, I can put in 20%, then it's completely underneath it. And you see, we have a completely different underline than what we started with already. So the next thing we want to change is the background uh, position. Uh, background position is going to be uh, determined by the x uh, axis, so horizontally and vertically by the i uh, axis. Um, the first one, we don't really have to do anything with it because we've put in 100% one line above it. It's already spanning 100% of the width, so the position, let's say I make this 20%, uh, it's not changing at all, and that's because it's already spanning 100%, so we can't really change anything about the position. So, normally, to make it clear, you can put in 100% or just 0, but it won't change anything. The property we can play with is the second one. You see now, my underline is uh, on top of it, and so I'll show you what happens. So, this is determining the height on the i-axis, or the position on the i-axis, I should say. If I put in 10%, you see, it will drop. 10% on the i-axis, if I put in 20, so it's going from top to bottom, 30, 40, 50, and you see 50 is exactly in the middle of the height of our text block, so if you want like a more, not an underline, but a line through, perfectly possible, like a fancy line through, let's say, and then you put in 50% and it will be exactly um, in, the, in the middle here. You see, this is a little bit different, so you have to play around depending on which uh, block editor and the height of the text, of course, you will have to choose, like, you see, this is working better with the paragraphs. If I put in, like, 60, it will make it even 70. Uh, it can, of course, be 65, like, then we have here a more line true effect, and this is already a little bit lower. So you have to play around with it. You can make another class, of course, let's say underline for the headings, and then you put in underline oh, my cat on underline P like for paragraph, and then you copy paste and you change only the background position, for example, and you stick with the 65% for the paragraph and the 50% for the default underline so you can of course play with this if you want to so let's make this about 75 percent for now so then it's just underneath it even with the headings uh, of course well let's maybe make it completely right let's see i copy everything i paste everything here and i'm going to change this one to 90 percent for the paragraphs. So the last thing you see is the transition. So this is a property that makes this go gradually. If I remove this, uh, then you have this. So that's way less fancy, of course. So transition is something that controls the way uh, something transitions from one uh, effect to the other effect or from one so we see we put in background size, so it means if the background size changes, then do a transition of 0 0.25 seconds. Then we have to, of course, do something with the background size. That's why we have here, if I put my head a little bit on the side, underline uh, hover. This is something that's the default effect. So this means that uh, if anything with the class underline is hovered, like here, I'm hovering above it, then change the background size to 100%, 100%. Again, you can change these values, so background size was already 100% in the default one, so this is not going to change, but here it was 20% on the I, the axis, and now this makes it 100%, and you see it wraps completely around the text, so it makes it 100% if you don't want this. You want to make this 50%, that's all also possible, and then it's going to go halfway. So this is something that's working perfectly fine. So change your properties however you see fit, and then make it your own fancy underline. Let's go to publish.
and I will show you the one for the uh, paragraph. So I made a different uh, different class name, and maybe you can do the hover part as well. So we can do so we'll underline dash p, and then the hover property after it. Brackets background size. Let's just do one hundred percent. Click on publish. This will not do anything at the moment because this has still the class underline and not yet underline p. So we'll have to change this. And so this was the paragraph number one. Go to edit as HTML. This is the underline. We change this to the new one. And this one as well. My head is in the way. Yep. And then underline and then the P and then update and then we'll check if this has worked on it yeah you see that now the line is a little bit more uh, below it so this is how you can make it work uh, for headings and for uh, paragraphs and you see this one uh, you put in uh, the effect with the hover is 100% of the height so you see it wraps around completely and this is still on 50% so you see you can have different effects different colors as well if you make uh, new class names and put them in okay so that was all i hope this was uh, helpful and see you in the next one